Also new tonight, we are learning that three brothers died in a Denver home on Sunday of suspected drug overdoses. Friends and family say 28 year old Darren King Jr. 30 year old Terrence King and 31 year old Jaron Jackson were found dead in the home. Denver 7's Micah Smith talked to a close friend of Jackson's. Hey, come on in. Right. American Idol, I want to say it was 2012. So tell me, baby. You just see J-Lo like, oh, he's a lover. Like, she liked that boy. That boy. This was the middle of 31-year-old J. Ron Jackson's life story. A story that close friend Tamel Dotson says would end just 10 years later. I had just talked to J. Ron like Friday night. Uh, and we were supposed to, you know, link up, hang out. Um, but he was already hanging out with uh, his brothers. And he's like, you know, yeah, um, we driving around right now. You know, it's loud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you back, you know. Uh, so that was the last time I talked to him. Dotson says Sunday, Jackson's sister called looking for him and his two brothers. Just a couple hours later, his sister called me back and said that they were found, all uh, him and his two brothers in, a, in his apartment, and they were passed away. Denver investigators believe their deaths were related to drug overdoses. j -Ron was not like that. You know, j -Ron would turn up, have a good time. j -Ron wasn't somebody that was just tripping out. He was incredibly talented, and he just made a wrong decision. Dotson says that talent took j -Ron to American Idol, the famous Apollo Theater, and local contests where Dotson and Jackson performed together. This is the J-Ron Dotson wants the community to remember. Because I just want everyone to know how great and how talented and how beautiful of a soul that J-Ron was. Dotson says he also wants young people to learn from J-Ron's life and his death. You gotta make wise decisions, you know, it's not, we, we see a lot of, you know, the glorifying of, of drugs and, and just that turn up lit lifestyle and, and it's really, it's not worth it. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7. What a loss. Funeral services for all three will be next week. We'll have those details on Denver7.com.